This is what your knuckle looks like when it's cracked in an MRI machine. Right there, those bubbles are the key to what's happening inside the joint. So there's a lubricant-like substance that's found in between your joints. It's called synovial fluid, and it contains dissolved gases, mostly CO2. Those gases form into bubbles when you create a pressure change by yanking on your finger, and then right away those bubbles partially collapse, causing the sound we all know and hate. You have to wait around 20 minutes for the remaining bubbles to dissolve before you can crack your knuckle again. This is different from the pop you hear when you stand up quickly. That sound is most likely from the tendons snapping when they slide over bones. So, is a knuckle cracking habit safe? Probably. Donald Unger was a doctor who decided to pop the joints in just one of his hands for 60 years to find out if it would give him arthritis. It didn't, and that's been confirmed by other studies. So it doesn't seem like knuckle cracking is harming you, it's just harming the people who can hear you.